All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to a new Blickety Vlog. So, been a little bit since we last talked, and got a lot of stuff to go over. So, with that said, let's get into it. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is what you're not seeing, and that is the camera that's filming me right now. The lovely and trusty Sony a7C. It's been my, work, my workhorse, my go-to camera, for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it. It's uh, my first Sony camera back into the Sony family after dabbling in other cameras over the years, namely cell phone, webcam, the Panasonic G85, and probably a couple of others I'm forgetting about, um, but those are the main ones. Uh, but this is also my first full frame camera as well. So got to get more into photography as well and just really enjoy that certain uniqueness that a full frame sensor can provide versus crop sensors. And I can't go back, you know, trying to look at an APS-C camera or Micro Four Thirds camera, it's just like, it's not the same. You know, full frame is definitely where it's at for me. So with that being said, I'm gonna announce that I will be selling this camera. And the reason being is actually pretty positive. It's because I'm gonna be buying the new Sony a7C II, and your boy needs a little bit of extra money. So, since I'll have the sequel, I won't really need the OG anymore. So, just makes sense to do a little bit of cleaning house, as it were. I've done it plenty of times over the years as I get new equipment and things and sell it off and get more equipment, and it's just been a process for me, you know? And it's just that time for the Sony a7C. And I just wanna say thanks to the camera that I'm recording on right now uh, for all the content you've helped provide, not only for this channel, but uh, for other businesses and stuff as well, as I've used this exclusively for my free freelance videography and photo shoots and just a bunch of stuff, man. You know, it's served me very well over the years and that's no hyperbole. It's gotten me a lot of different opportunities. I've met so many wonderful people thanks to this camera and my skills, as it were, that literally do pay the bills. That's how I got it. And just want to say my, th my thanks and appreciation for the Sony a7C OG. Now, that that's done, let's geek out about the sequel, Sony a7C II. So why are you getting the second one versus the Sony a7CR that's also be gonna be coming out around the same time? And the reason being, the number one reason obviously is money. You know, it's, uh, I think it's about what, an extra 800 some USD, whatever that converts into for yen, which again, a little more yikes with the, uh, the yen. Yeah, it just I find that the the difference price-wise versus quality-wise doesn't really mesh well with me. And the better sensor obviously goes to the Sony A7C R in terms of pixel density and things like that. But since I do photography basically as a hobby or just kind of a side thing, um, I don't really need that big of a sensor or that pixel dense of a sensor. So for me, being more on the video side, it's not going to be that much of a bump in quality for me and what I do. So that's why I'm going with Sony a7C II because there's a huge bump in quality compared to the OG, namely much better autofocus, a better hand grip, which also includes a knob on the front as well, which is awesome. And just a bunch of other you know, creature comforts. The new menu system, it also has a dedicated switch for the photo, video, and slow and quick modes as well, so I don't have to keep changing the shutter speed every time I wanna switch from taking pictures to taking video, I just, boop, there you go. That was one of my major complaints with this camera was I had to like constantly change the shutter speed every time I wanted to switch from videos to photos, and it just got really frustrating after a while. And another thing that they addressed, and probably the main upgrade to the, to the uh, second model, is that it has a little AI chip in it that helps improve autofocus and does autofocus for a lot of like different objects rather than just people. So instead of just following my eye around like 
this camera is doing. It can also track animals, birds, trains, cars, all kinds of stuff and keep it in focus, not only for pictures, but for video as well, which is very important for what I do, you know? So really looking forward to it. It also has an improved sensor as well. So instead of going for 24 megapixels, 24.2, I think technically with this sensor, uh, this one boasts a 33 megapixel density. So just a slight bump in the pixels. So for me and my photography, 24 pixels was perfectly serviceable. And with 33, it's gonna be even better. So I'm really looking forward to the new camera. But with that being said, since this is my, pretty much my only camera, really, the videos I'm gonna be making until I get the new camera are gonna be basically either stuff I already shot on this camera, or they're gonna be uh, videos from my cell phone. So if you're wondering what's up with the drop of quality, that's why. So just hang tight with me while I uh, get things all saved up for the new camera. And also the camera hasn't been released yet. So like I said, it's probably not gonna be released until like October-ish, maybe November, depending on demand and all that leading into Christmas season. It's anybody's ball game really, but it is what it is. And I just wanna make you guys aware of that and also show my great appreciation for what this camera has given me over the years. So. Thank you so much, as I'm <laughs> showing my respect to basically an inanimate object, but it is what it is. But that's enough about gushing over a camera. Let's move on to personal life stuff. So as you guys know, took a bit of a break from uploading stuff on the channel uh, for two reasons. One was pretty positive, and that was because I started a new job. So I started at the beginning of September, and so far, things have been pretty good, really getting used to kind of the way things are done and just kind of learning more about my role in the company and pretty good, you know, no complaints. And I'm just looking forward to uh, continuing on my full-time job. And the second reason I stopped uploading videos was not quite as positive, a bit more on the negative side, and that was due to uh, some troll activity. So I noticed a little bit of troll activity once I announced that I got myself a new job and I'm gonna be continuing my stay here in Japan. But I do wanna say that the majority of the comments and everything like that, the messages and stuff was very positive. So I wanna give a big shout out to everybody for sending me a lot of positive messages after that video came out. But as far as the negative comments go, those hit a little hard, especially during a very high point in my life where, you know, after putting in all the hard work and applying for jobs, going to interviews, getting rejected, all this, that, and the other, watching my time on my visa just slowly whittle down to single digits and just wondering like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to book a flight to get the fuck out of here? Like, what's what's going on, you know? And to finally have uh, someone take a chance on me is amazing. And for that company to be out in the Shonan area, the area that I really love and care about and have wanted to move to for some time now, it's just amazing. And also just a little side note, um, if you're wondering about, well, aren't you gonna use the money for the Sony A7C to move? I'm gonna wait to move till the end of the year slash beginning of next year, just because there's a lot of stuff involved with it, uh, not just money, I'm also have to find a good apartment that's willing to take me in. Uh, it's in a good location. I have to do apartment tours and stuff like that. So it's a process, guys. So <laughs> that's why I said, you know, most likely it's gonna be end of this year, early next year, when I'll actually be able to move because it's a lot of moving parts. So if you guys are wondering about that, don't worry, <laughs> you know? So once I get in the groove of things financially, it'll be okay. But uh, anyway. Continuing on with the um, trolls and stuff. So I've been on the internet for what? Going on 20 years. It'll be 20 years next year, 2024. Whoa. <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm gonna do the uh, end of the year thing. Cause I always rhyme it, right? Like, you know, 2022 was 2022, woo. 2023, we. 2024, I haven't quite figured that one out yet. Uh, maybe you guys can help me in the comments. But uh, in any event, I've been on the internet for a long time. Trolls are nothing new. It is what it is. 
it's nature of the business. But with the, the new job and everything and with some kind of shitty comments directed my way, I just kind of figured it was just a good idea to take a break from doing YouTube stuff for a while, just to get settled into the new role. And also at that point, I was really burnt out from job hunting and just all the stress and anxiety of like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Just really burnt me to a crisp. So even if the troll comments didn't happen, I was gonna take a break anyway, you know, just to get settled into the new role and, you know, stop burning the candle at both ends, basically. So I just wanna say thanks to everybody who sent me very positive messages about getting a new job and all that. And really looking forward to continuing to make good quality content on here, on YouTube, all that stuff, and just be on the lookout for more stuff. So with that said, this is Andy, sign up for now, as always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Get off.